Hi, in this question I'm going to show you how to calculate the annual percentage rate. This is just a quick calculation that shows you what the real rate that you will actually have to pay on a borrowed amount or what you receive on an investment compared to what's known as a nominal rate. So in this question we have a bank A and a bank B each giving their own interest rate on investment that you're going to deposit with their in their uh, accounts. So bank A gives you 3%, bank B 2.7%. Obviously, bank A looks on the face of it a better investment. However, we have to calculate the annual percentage rate in order to identify your true return. And the key is to find out how many times you're going to receive your return on your investment based on this rate. And that's what compounded refers to. So compounded biannually means you're going to receive payment twice a year. Compounded daily means you're going to receive it every day of the year. So that could determine us to choose bank B depending on the value of the APR if it's higher. So this is the formula. So R in this case is your nominal rate, which is given 3% or 2.7%. And N is how often it's going to be compounded. So biannually, we're going to put in 2 here. Or daily, we'll put in 365. And it's as simple as that. So I'm going to do it in Excel for you. So we have our rates, which are 3% for bank A, 2.7% for bank B, and our compounded period is twice a year for bank A and 365 days for bank B. So we just put that into our formula for the APR. So 3% is your 0 0.03 divided by your 2. Get all of that to the power of 2. So 1 plus 0 0.03 divided by 2, all to the power of 2. And finally, subtract your 1 from that. So you should have a figure that's slightly higher, perhaps... Yeah, there we are. So Excel wasn't giving us the two decimals until I actually adjusted for the, the number of decimals allowed. So we have we should have a figure that's higher than your nominal rate. So 3% is here to 0 0.030225. I'll get that as a percentage. By multiplying it by 100. Likewise, we'll do the same. 1 plus R, which is 0 0.027, divided by 365 to the power of 365 minus your 1. And again, we should have a figure that's higher than the 2.7. And we'll multiply that by your 100% or 100. And 2.74. So even though you're going to get 365 payments in the year, still the bank A ends up being a better investment for you because you get higher than bank B in, in effective rates or annual percentage rate. Again, thanks for watching and check out the previous videos and videos to come where we'll actually do more financial maths.